today I'm going to be talking about factors of numbers. There's a couple different tricks to finding factors and to finding whether a number is divisible by another number. So we're going to look really closely here at a couple. I say closely and I pull the board even closer. We're going to look at a couple of numbers and show some tricks. The first number we'll talk about is 2. If a number is divisible by 2, then it will be even. In other words, it will end with 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So if a number ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, we can tell that it's divisible by 2. So 46 is divisible by 2. 47, however, is not divisible by 2. That's a pretty quick and easy check. So if it's divisible by 2, means if it's even, so it would end with one of those four, five numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. The next number on our list is 3. 3 is a little bit more tricky than 2. You can't just pick numbers out, but let's pick a couple numbers that we know are divisible by two, like uh, by 3, like 12 and 24 and 36. And let's pick a couple numbers that we know are not divisible by 3, just to test this. Um, 41 and, I don't know, 70, 70. The trick with 3 is that you take the numbers that you have, like 12, you have a 1 and a 2, and you add them together. If this number here is divisible by 3, then you know that this whole number here is also divisible by 3. Okay, you'll see this pattern again. 2 and 4 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3. Check. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So that's so it's just making our lives a little bit more, you know, nice. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. 5 is not divisible by 3. And 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. So again, it's not divisible by 3. So with 3, you can find if a number is divisible by 3 by adding up those digits. Even when it's a larger one, like 120, I don't know, 7 or something, you can add those up. 9 and 1 is 10. That is not divisible by 3. All right? And, and this is a good way to check whether a number is or is not divisible by 3. No matter how many digits are in that number, you can use this trick. All right, next one is number four. We'll get rid of that. If you want to check and see if a number is divisible by four, you have to look at the last two numbers of that number. So let's say, for example, you have like 2000 and 2016 and 146,228 and like 17, 100, 100, or 1,017. Let's just pick a couple numbers like that. The trick with 4 is that you look at the last two numbers. Okay? Anything else does not matter. Okay? You only look at the last two numbers. If the last two numbers are 0, 0, or divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. And that makes sense because if there's anything here, that's a 100. And we know that 100 is divisible by 4, so all we really care about is the numbers that are smaller than that. So let's go ahead and look at this one. Is this a 0, 0? Yes. So that is 2000 is divisible by 4. 2016 is also divisible by 4 because 16 is a multiple of 4. 146,228 is, again, divisible by 4 because 28 is divisible by 4. 17 is not a multiple of 4. You can't divide 17 evenly into 4, so that means that that number is not. Or any other number that ends in 17. 100, however, is divisible by 4 because it has the double zeros at the end. So that's our trick with the number 4. Now, I'd like to also emphasize at this point that you really do need to know your multiplication tables up to two digits to be able to even work with this little trick. 
but it's helpful if you're working with any larger numbers than just that. Five. The rule with five is if it ends in zero or five. So So with these numbers I have down here, we can easily do a quick check and see does it end in 0 or 5, and if it does, then we know that it is divisible by 5. That's not a 0 or a 5, that is a 0 or a 5. That's not a 0 or a 5, and that is a 0 or a 5 for this one. Okay, zeros and 5s are divisible by 5. And for, just a quick reminder, for the number 5 you really want to look just at the ones, the number in the ones column. The next number we can check for is 6. 6 is actually kind of nice because 6 is 2 times 3. So all we have to do is look for the things that we knew about 2 and the things we knew about 3. We knew that for 2 it was everything even and for 3 it was the sum of the numbers. So if it's even and it has a sum that's divisible by 3, then we know it, that it will divide into 6. So let's go ahead and pick some numbers here. Um, 27 and 432 and let's do I guess 72. Alright, let's go ahead and look at those three numbers. 27, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. So that is divisible by 3. However, it's not an even number, it's an odd number. So that one is not divisible by 6. 432. 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9. So that one is divisible by 3. We look at the first number, it's an even number, so that one is divisible by 6. 72, when we add them up, oh my goodness, I, I didn't even do that on purpose, but 72 is, when you add 7 and 2, you get 9, which is divisible by 3, and it's an even number, so that one's also divisible by 6. Alright, so for 6, you just have to remember the rules for 2 and for 3. Seven's kind of a beast. Um, <laughs> seven, you have to check. Um, there's no real rule to, to making seven easy. Num for eight, you can check with large digits. Um, you can check with anything that's over a thousand to see if it has three zeros at the end, it's divisible by eight. So like 10,000 or 12,000. Anything that has three zeros is divisible by eight. Okay, that's basically the only rule with eight um, as far as taking a quick look to see if it's divisible by eight. The last two rules for nine and ten, well, we'll do nine first. Nine is very similar to three. If you add up the numbers and they're divisible by nine, then you know that that you have a number that's divisible by 9. Alright, let's take a couple of numbers. 9 is divisible by 9. 8 plus 1 is 9, and so that's divisible by 9. 1 and 2 and 1, so 1 and 2 and 1 will give me 4, not divisible by 9. 1 and 3 and a 6 is 10. So again, it's not divisible by 9. So for that one, and you see this a lot with um, the 9 times tables, when, when they go ahead and list them down, you find that they are, you know, 1 and 8 is 9, 2 and 7 is 9, 3 and 6 is 9. And you'll notice that a lot of the multiples of 9, when you add them up, they actually equal 9. Um, when you get into larger numbers, it won't be quite the case. But, but you'll see that if you add up any large number, if you add up all of the digits, and the sum of those digits is divisible by 9, then you have things that are multiples of 9. 
the last number we're going to talk about is 110. If the number ends in 0, it's divisible by 10. So if we have the number 110, it is. If we have the number 111, it is not. You just look at this end number. And if the last number is 0, it's divisible by 10. Those are some tricks just to keep our minds sharp and to help us to find multiples inside of numbers. So if you see a number and you want to know if it's divisible by certain things, you want to find the multiples of that number, you want to find the factors of that number, then what you want to do is use some of these tricks. I hope this has been helpful and I hope it keeps you thinking. Have a great day.